Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to be teaching y'all one of my personal favorite tricks, which is the hang five. So in this how-to, I'm going to teach you the couple tricks that I use to learn these and perfect them. Hang fives are a really fun trick that you can use pretty much anywhere. Uh, in grinds, out of grinds, into tricks. You can learn fakie hang fives, which I actually just did. I'll upload a video of me learning those in a couple days. Alright, so what a hang five is is you have one of your feet on one of your front pegs and it's like a nose manual, but you're using your other leg that's not on a peg to balance you out like this. Like that. So the first thing you're gonna have to decide is which foot you're gonna wanna do your hang five on. Um, normally I'd recommend your front foot. Some people do their back foot, but this way, like once you learn to hop into them, like you don't have to make it just that far instead of having to like swing your foot all the way over there. So, the first thing you're going to do is just put your foot on that peg and just kind of like, just mess around with it, just like kind of balance it out, feel where you like feel most comfortable. I'm kind of on a hill right now, which is definitely not the best thing. I definitely recommend having a flat spot, so like that. If you can't reach right there, you can find a curb and set your foot on a curb. Sit like this, put the curb right here step on that curb and put the seat up to your butt and then just kind of do it like that. That way works. Um, I know a lot of people drag their toes so you could do that if you want. I don't really recommend that just because like you'll go through some shoes really really fast if you're dragging your toe down the road but I mean that'd look a little bit like this. So. Just like just it helps you balance out a little more. I never really use that method. I pretty much just practice some like find my balance point and then just kept trying to go a little bit further by a little bit further. All right, so once you think you have your balance point and you want to start moving, I'd recommend finding, I don't know, maybe like a little bit of a hill, maybe like a 15 degree like incline or something like that. And you'll get into your balance point and then just kind of stand up and like maybe give yourself a little bit of a push and then just start rolling. So it'd be a little bit like this. You're not going to be able to go, be able to go too far just because it is really hard to balance when you're going really slow. The more speed you have, uh, the easier it is to balance these out. Uh, that's, what it, that's what I think in my experience. That's what I've noticed. Next thing you want to do after finding your balance point and going down a hill is, is you're just going to want to do a rolling start. So you'll have both your feet on your pedals and you'll be rolling forward at a decently slow speed. And just put one foot on your front peg and then lift it up to your butt. This step will take a little bit longer than the other two, just because you are gonna learn how to have to learn how to like pull that up to your butt without going too far forward or leaning too far back. That's one of the hardest parts of this trick, and once you get that, you're definitely making a lot of your progress. So once you're able to do that and start going a little bit, you're gonna just wanna have to find, I definitely say a flat parking lot, and then just try to go as many spaces as you can. So start with one, once you get one, do one and a half. Something else you can do if you don't have that is find a crack in the ground and use like a stick or something like that and mark where your back tire lands and try to get past that every single time. So the more you do that, the more comfortable you'll be comfortable with that. If you do want to learn how to hop into them, I'll show you how to do that. That's my favorite way of doing it just because like if you are doing um, rolling into it, you'll have that pedal down kind of like this. Like your pedals won't be flat just because you have to take your foot up to put it on. But if you hop into them, then it will be like this. And I feel like you have more room to swing your leg and you don't have to worry about your foot, your swinging foot catching that pedal. So to do that, this would really be kind of just trial and error. I'll have to find out which way works best for you. But pretty much just sit here. And you'll just have to do that over and over again. I definitely recommend doing it stance like no, with no speed at first and then try it a little bit rolling and then a little bit faster, a little bit faster. And eventually you can try it out of banks, out of quarters, pretty much whatever you're gonna do, or hop up. So once you wanna learn hop up ones, you have to learn how to hop into them like that, do some hop up and then just throw your back end up. So these are gonna take a little bit of time too, changing over to this. Um, definitely took me a little while, but it was definitely worth it. Just cause like once I learned how to do that, I feel like my hang pods were a lot more solid than before. One of the main keys to this trick for me is actually part of your bike. 
I definitely recommend having kind of a sticky seat because if you just have a plastic seat, it's going to be really hard to balance that just because it's going to be sliding around on your butt. If you can get a sticky seat that will kind of stick to whatever you have on, like your pants or shorts or whatever, it'll make it a lot easier just because like, your butt isn't going to be sliding everywhere. Because pretty much the only thing that should be moving is a little bit of your upper body, but mainly just that swinging leg. So what I have is I have a fit bar stool seat and like the synthetic leather and it works perfectly. But once you're learning these, obviously you're going to have to know how to bail. Um, if you lean too far back, there's not really a problem there. Pretty much all you'll do is you'll just kind of like fall back front of your butt. I just take your foot off, just kind of roll away like this with your feet off. But if you do go over the front, that does take a little, it's kind of scary at first, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you'll be with it. All you're going to have to do is you'll want to, all right, there's two ways you can do it. If you're not really comfortable hopping over the bars, uh, this way can end kind of badly because like, if you do step off and you put your foot in front of your peg, you can get nicked by your peg and that doesn't feel good. I've done that quite a few times. But it's definitely better than trying to hop over your bars and kicking your bars and landing on your face. So if you do end up going too far and you're not going that fast, you can always just do something like that and just kind of let your back end drop and just kind of try to run out of it a little bit. But if you're going more than like a slow speed, I definitely re recommend trying to learn how to hop over it. So that'll look a little like this. So those really aren't hard. Um, it's pretty much just a mind thing. If you want to, just to get used to it, you can try it in grass, just try to get your balance point and then make yourself lean a little too far over and then just throw the bike on you. What you'll do for that is you're just gonna want to kind of like once you start pushing it down, you'll spread your legs. Here, I'll do a slow motion of it, kind of describe it as I go. So if you can, if, as you can see right here, like once I start pushing it down, you can see my legs start coming apart. And then you just want to make sure both of those clear. Um, I know some people, whenever they do it, they try to throw their bars kind of sideways a little bit so they don't have to spread their legs as wide. I don't know, I don't like having to worry about that, so I just kind of push them down and make sure my bars get to the ground so my feet don't catch. Um, one other trick that I've learned for hang fives is where you look really matters in how, like, helping balance. If you look straight at your peg, you're gonna normally tend to either lean too, you're gonna normally tend to lean too far forward just because you are looking down. I'd recommend looking about maybe five feet to 20 feet in front of you, somewhere in there, just get used to that and looking where you're going because like if you do that you're going to know what's coming and it's just a little bit easier to balance. Once you start wanting to learn how to turn this is really tricky just because it's kind of backwards so if you want to turn left you're going to want to lean right and stick your butt out right because that'll make your tire turn like that and vice versa so if you want to go the other way you're going to have to swing your butt left and you'll go around. Um, I have another video going around on the tire bowl. If you want to see a GoPro view to that, um, I'll put the link right here. So to hop back into your pedals, definitely at first when you're learning them, I wouldn't recommend trying to learn that because you will scrape off your shins. I actually just tore my shin up the other day trying to hop back to a pedal and I slipped them. Um, I'd recommend having either jeans or shin guards or something like that just because it's not really, nobody likes getting a shinner. So when you're ready to hop back, um, these are definitely easier to learn if you hop into them because your pedals will be flat. But if you do do them rolling, what I'd recommend doing is like whenever you're about to go back, put that one foot on it and then roll away like that. But if you do hop into yours, then you can do that. You can just put one foot back and find. So like say my pedals are flat and go kind of let it land and then go right away. But once you are ready to start popping back to the pedals, this can help lead to other tricks. Just make it look a lot cleaner. And you can also do like link manuals and stuff out of those, and those are really cool. So this will just take a bunch of trial and error, kind of like the other ones. Um, I definitely recommend rolling when you're trying to learn these, because if you do try to do it standing still, I feel like it's a lot harder. But just start hopping back, and you'll just have to pretty much figure out where your pedals are. You'll probably miss them a couple times. That's why I'd recommend wearing jeans or shin guards, just anything to protect your legs, because I guarantee you will slip a pedal at least a couple times.
one other last trick that I just thought of is whenever you are hopping onto your pedals or putting your, whenever you're hopping onto your peg, I rest my foot against my um, fork and I feel like that does give me a little bit extra stability and like ability, to, like it helps me turn I think because if my foot's just kind of on here and my peg's kind of slippery, my foot will kind of just move. But if you do have it on your fork, it does give you that extra little bit to help turn. So that's pretty much it for this how-to. Um, if y'all have any questions or anything about Hank 5, just let me know and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.